I'm Gospel. We've got down below, we've got Weird Gaming Adventure. And over here, we've got Jar Jar Binks, the Resto 3 developer. One of them. You guys have hired a couple of people, I think, actually. Not hired, because, right, no one's getting yeah. paid. But there are a couple more devs, and that is very, very cool. Um, anyways, how are things going, guys? How are y'all doing? Pretty good. Tired, but pretty good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm glad to hear that you're tired, Jar Jar. Uh, for selfish reasons, because, you know, that means you're, you're you're working on the game. And as Gospel said, we here at Weird Gaming Gospel Pod, we're so happy to have you. Um, did you know that your screen, it says Jar, J-A-R, capital J-A, Oops. lowercase r. That's my bad. Whoops. Indeed. <laughs> I can say so, that uh, real yeah. Quick. Well, welcome, welcome to the show, friend of the show once again, Jar Jar Banks. So, good to have you, man, once again. Why are you good tired, buddy? Been working as hard as I can to get the next patch done. Next patch out for everyone. Uh, it's going to be a big one. Is it going to it be? It keeps getting bigger. Is it going to be phase one? No, it is not. <laughs> but it's a big patch. It is a big patch. Ooh. It's uh, the it's the okay, hold on one second. <laughs> All right. So it's not gonna be phase one. So I gotta put on my adulting hat, everybody. All right, can you give us a little bit of of what the next patch is, is gonna be? Well the main meat of it of course is the Witches of Dathomir theme park. Um converting that over because SWG Source released the NGE code for that a few months back. So I've hmm. been converting all that to work with our core and changing the numbers around to work for our game system. On top of that, there's been a lot of additional stuff that we've been adding into it. The craftable guitar armor is going to be part of this. The, you can see on the screen right now, there's some new weapons that we're adding in. Yeah. And Melee yeah. weapons. Yep. People Melee's love getting Melee some weapons. attention. Yeah, Melee, Melee is uh, desperate for attention right now. Um, those that uh, that blade, it looks like one of those Diedrich blades from uh, from an Elder Scrolls game. You know? What yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, all right, I gotta have I gotta have one of those. Sweet. <laughs> and uh, what is the what? What do we have on the bottom right? Or what? What is that? The sword and knuckler on the right side. Those oh, are those are a couple of weapons that were already from the which is a Dathomir theme park that we'll be getting. You can mm -hmm. see they have an animated texture that's pretty unique. Yep. Um, what is the uh, the dead corpse? There's a picture and you've opened up a looting thingamajig. What's the uh, what's the significance of that in your? Photo. That is the introduction of the extremely dangerous bounties for bounty hunting, and those are ones that'll drop the craftable bounty hunter armor, the slicing components, and Ooh. they'll have a much bigger payout. Not from the terminal themselves, but the actual NPCs that you loot can have a chance at the, having a bunch of credits on them. Oh, the, the NPCs have a chance to drop, like, a ton of credits? Yes. Like, how many credits would you say? Like, what's the range on that? I believe I set the range to 10,000 to 30,000, but that may change either to make it higher or slightly lower. Ooh. That actually... Oh, is it's this... about... Go ahead. It's like, it's like you're, you're, you're running a bounty, but for an NPC. It's basically because I'm lazy and I didn't want to mess too much with the terminal coding to increase the payouts. <laughs> <laughs> that there works. You, go. you know what? Uh, all right, well, we got a suggestion for the next patch. <laughs> <laughs> speaking uh, of... Uh, customizable. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, terminals, you teased that uh, that photo of, uh, I guess, the Mustafar terminal because I started decoding it. I decoded everything in that terminal uh, except for the very top text, so I don't know what that says, but it said Mustafar on the terminal, and it said enjoy Mustafar's hot beaches, which, you know... Anakin was was a huge fan of Mustafar's hot beaches. They didn't have sand, 
Loved so, it to death. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so is that terminal coming in the next uh, big patch or? No, you'll have to wait for phase one for that. That's uh, all about the progression system and the unlocking this. Oh, okay. 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 All right. I don't think we appreciated in the moment how clever that joke was. You know, that was good. Which no one? sand. No sand. It's got no sand. It burnt that... him, burnt him to, to to a crisp, but uh, he liked it better than sand. <laughs> exactly. He preferred losing his limbs and burning to I, death. I will say this, though. That sand, that got him some ponytang. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, people want to know when is Mustafar dropping. How much of... I don't know. I, I'm against ETAs. I don't, well, I think it's a bad idea to release an ETA because it's hard for uh, a project of literal, passionate Star Wars Galaxies players that are hobbyists creating the server to give an ETA because, you know, they do it in their spare time, so something might go wrong. Um, how much of Phase 1 do you think is done? The majority of it. So, like, 51% or, like, 80%? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. So that, okay, so we do know this. There's at least, what was the last number you used? 80% gospel? Mm hmm. All right, well, let's just keep giving him numbers until he can't say yes anymore. <laughs> uh, 82 and a half. Well, I do know this that the vast majority of Mustafar was fully working in the C or like in the beta. Yes. We, I, I did go around doing a ton of Mustafar quests. The only thing I didn't really get to test were some of the instances. And I didn't get to... I didn't make anything out of the Chukon Dark Cube, so I'm not sure if that is uh, translated well over to the CU or not. I assume it is because those Chukon Dark Cube items existed in the CU. Am, am I correct on that, George? Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so the Chugar and Dark Cube items are done. But speaking of, you said the Witches of Dathomir theme park is coming back. Have you changed any of the rewards at all? The, like, the consumables and stuff? Um, Not yet. I'm waiting until we have it up on the public TC for people to play with mm -hmm. to see if any of them need adjusting or not. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. There's, uh, there, I think there's a, uh, like, a CC break uh, food in one of those... So that would be, uh, no, it's not CC break. It's a speed. It's a it's a it's a it's a burst run, food. Yeah, there's a burst run. There's a debuff remover, and there's one other that I can't remember off the top of my head. I would like to see the debuff remover. Debuff remover sounds excellent because that could be anti root. That could be anti slow. That could be anti thyroid rupture. It could be anti traumatized. It can be anti a lot of things so i'm kind of excited to see something like that we'll see if it's op or not it removes like two debuffs i think right so yeah which that might be the issue with cu there's not as many debuffs you can have on mm -hmm. so removing two at random is usually likely going to be removing all of them yeah yeah it might be a little bit over the top uh what's that uh, but we've we've thrown a bunch of questions at you so far, and, and make no mistake, we are going to continue to do that. Let's take a moment, real quick. Let's let's shake it off, and and actually let's let's go around the room real quick, and let's talk about the things so far that we have, including yourself, Jar Jar, enjoyed the most with the Restoration Three. So how about uh, Gospel? We'll we'll let you go first. Give Jar Jar. Give Jar Jar a moment to conjure that up. Although I don't think he needs a moment, but let's let's let you go first and tell us what you like the most in R three. Um, so far, so far, um, I hmm. Well, the combat system obviously <laughs> everything is better because the combat system is better. Don't say bugs. No, I'm not gonna say bugs. Uh, is uh. I guess spin groups, PvP and spin groups, mm -hmm. uh, have been my favorite things so far. Um, I have, I don't have a reason to really go into spin groups anymore because I can just do smuggler missions for money. But there was, uh, you know, when I was grinding up and stuff, or when I re template, which was pretty often, you know, getting to a spin group is pretty cool and like 
It would be better if we had group chat. <laughs> oh, before I forget, oh. on your smuggler missions, the mm -hmm. PV PvP ones will now give double components. Will now give double components? Yep. How did you... Did I, so do you like... Do you choose one and just gives two? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'm. Nice. I'm. Uh, when I. When I. When the senator gets. When the senate gets cleared, I'm gonna run for smuggler senate again and ask for more. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> See, guys, now you can't complain at me anymore for killing the momentum of the things that that you all care about. <laughs> so, uh, pro tip. When you hear your guest giving one word answers, it's time to ch change up the way we're going about the interview. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay, let me say one thing that I love so far. And this is not like this in Legends. This was not like this at the end of live. Uh, once again, we have a community. Our guild right now is so incredible we are all working together once again we're building everything for each other like it was at the beginning of the game i mean it wasn't even like that at the beginning of this game but as things have been progressing man like the server is once again it's becoming star wars galaxies the way that we love it and uh we we want to thank you us at our guild also earlier in the chat we had uh six hour 229 r said jar jar thank you for everything you all are doing this has been a great return to a game that he loves so there you go my friend now what have you enjoyed i think it's been the player events the player run events we get like three of them every week and i'm yeah. invisible at almost all of them each time Oh, it's true. great seeing that here again. Like, the idea of it's awesome, though, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I love say, player events. I, mean, I don't go to them, but they're cool. The idea of them sounds cool. I uh, I mean, we've been working on Resto for six years now. We had a tiny population for the first two, so it's pretty surreal having a community this big and this good playing our game. It's It's been great. Yeah. I, uh... I remember, I, well, just like a few days ago, uh, I think there was like a rats uh, and sand and claw fight going on. And claw set up like a bunch of storyteller NPCs that are just stormtroopers, uh, which we quickly shredded through. Uh, but uh, and like emulated like a base attack. Uh, so it was like, you know, it's pretty good. I, I'm I'm kind of down for the storyteller stuff. If you can have sides agree to certain rules and stuff, it's pretty neat. Um, That's the trick. It That's is the trick, though. Yeah, because you could just ignore the storyteller invite and just go after for the go for the people who are SF special forces and kill them all. Um, what was I going to ask? You t you told me this before on uh, on the show. But a, a bunch of people still do not know why your name is is Jar Jar. And this is one of the best stories that, that I have heard. So do us a favor and tell everybody in here the incredibly sarcastic story as to how your name became Jar Jar. Well, yeah, it goes back to the first restoration. This was before I was on staff. And I had just ruled a bounty hunter. And I wanted to think of a name that would be extremely embarrassing for a Jedi to get killed by and lose their saber to. So I picked Jar Jar. <laughs> Easy clap. How would you guys like to get rolled by a Peach Gungan? You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't. Yeah, uh, no. No, I would not like to die to a Gungan at all. Although, they're kind of bomb... Have you seen those Gungans, dude? They're bomb bad warriors. I don't. I don't know what you meant. There. Yeah, I'm Bomb. gonna. I'm just gonna <laughs> casually walk off a cliff. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jar Jar. How about you go back to giving us a state? How about you give us a state of the R three address? How about you tell us what's going on, what you guys are working on from uh, from your point of view, and then we'll we'll iron in uh, iron out a little bit more of the questions from your answers. How's that sound? Sure. So. Um... Right now, we're all working on different projects for different patches. Mm -hmm. The next patch that's coming up has been mostly me working on the Witches of Dathomir and the additions. Halo's been working on uh, all the Jedi stuff for Phase 1. 
we got Archek, he's been working on the progression server, which is the systems that's going to handle unlocking Mustafar, and then it will get reused for every other unlock that we have that uses the system. H Slayer's been making a bunch of new stuff. He's got the, you see one of the weapons, or saw one of the weapons, the one you said, look, Daedric, that it's going to be a set that's going to come with Witches of Dathomir. He's working on some new furniture, some new armor sets, doing all that. Uh, Sky's been working on the anti-AFK system to cut down on some of that. And, yeah, that's what we're all working on. So when it comes down to, to Sky's anti-AFK system, so, you know, you guys give us a little teaser of, of, of Thimble. And we've come to the conclusion that there's no way that this is a killable guy. So just let us know. Is is Thimble an enforcer? Is he an AFK enforcer? No, Thimble's not for that system. Thimble is... Well, when, when we have Jedi and when we have FRS, there's going to be people who try to cheat the system by fight clubbing. Thimble is to kill all of those. Oh. Okay. That sounds pretty slick. So fight clubbers will... Uh... We'll get pretty much insta gibbed by level 455. So they're getting Alderaan. <laughs> yeah. Nuked from orbit. The internal name for the NPC is Player Killer Nuke. <laughs> Player Killer Nuke. <laughs> nice. I like that. That's good. That's really good. I, I, You know what? I'm a little disappointed, but also, like, look, a level 455 double gold boss. It would take the entire server, and it have to, it have to be like an environment kill to take that thing down, anyways. So I don't know why I was getting so excited. Yeah, he so, AOE's as well, so there, there's no killing him. Yeah, yeah, no. Gospel will find a way to cheat it. No, no, no. I'm good. Uh, dude. I'm sorry, Monarch. No, Monarch. no. I'm good. I'm good. No, I don't have any. No, no. Yeah, no. I don't have no way to cheat a 455 uh, <laughs> thingamajig. Um, here's a question I've got, uh, regarding Jedi. Um, have y'all decided how long the, how many lives Jedi will get and how long the glowy system will be? Yes, but I don't have that off the top of my head. Okay. So it's been decided. Okay. That would be something I'd really like to know. I'm sure a lot of people will want to know. I'm going to make a, um, uh, uh, a video soon, uh, things we know about Jedi, uh, because a lot of players, and I'm sure they're all in this chat right now, the only thing they give a fuck about is Jedi. They love Jedi, they love FRS. Um, some people care about the GCW as well, but that's a phase two thing. Um, I know phase one is Jedi and um, Mustafar. So, um, yeah. Uh, with the progression coming out, um, w are we going to know what to do for Mustafar? Like, are we going to know what we need to do to unlock Mustafar? You might know part of the list of what counts, but likely not the entire list. For Mustafar? Yes, for things that count towards progression. Okay, so is it going to be a system where we need to do everything, or we can do some things... And that'll contribute. And then other things will, will contribute and just be hidden. Yeah, there's a list of activities that contribute points towards the unlock. And for Mustafar, and when you do those things, they contribute points. They show up on the terminal. And some of the things you won't know what you did that contribute points. And some of the things you will. I love falling ass backwards into success. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, do you guys have the Jedi unlock system working? Not on live right now, but have you guys, like, is it all finished up, done, ready to... There's a few gaps in it, but it's mostly there. It's mostly there. So you would say, like, 90%? 80%? I don't do math. I don't do... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Over 50%, I would hope? O over half? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so. It was a color. <laughs> I don't do math. <laughs> would the success rate of... Uh, would it be blue, pink, red? Or am I closer? Anyways. If... Alright, guys. We have 92 people on here right now. Do our friend Gospel a favor. 
And guys, if you like Restoration 3, everybody, you know, hit the follow button for, for Gospel's channel. Maybe subscribe. Yeah, if, if you, you guys want to subscribe. If you, like, if you like what the man <laughs> what the man is doing. I so haven't I have not quit restoration. Some people think I quit restoration. I have not quit restoration. I'm just waiting for uh Mustafar, my main thing, Mustafar and Jedi. Uh but uh yeah, some people did follow and I'm just gonna thank them real quick. Almost you man, thank you for the follow. Willow O98, thank you for the follow. Troubles, thank you for the follow. Sigsour 229R, thank you for the follow. Um, and Jitsu Jet, I appreciate the follow, my dude. Thank you very much. Awesome. You logged okay, in twice so in the last two months, Lies Gospel. Actually, you're the liar because I've logged in multiple times, including today and yesterday. And I probably I think I logged in the day before that as well. I'm just not on Discord dude. all the time. Shane he Train. He has logged in a whole six times. Get it right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he gave you a bitch slap of truth right there, Gospel. And no, then he dude. just pushed him away. No, dude. Uh, Shane Train, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I haven't quit. I'm just waiting on, on more content. Um, Shane Train, it's not my channel, but I'm so. <laughs> Scotty Moto, subscribe with the Prime. Thank you for the two months, brother. Appreciate it, dude. Um, Jar Jar, I was gonna ask. Oh, Scotty Moto. How much of the point five patch? Right, it's not phase one. It's phase point five. Phase one half. Half. Phase half. Half a phase. How uh, how much of that is done? Do you think? Like ninety nine percent. Done. I gotta oh, we got run numbers. through some shit and test 99%. some shit. Ninety-nine percent. It, 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 it could go oh, on the TC liar. anytime within the next week. Okay. All right. All right. Ninety-nine uh, percent. So you know here. So ninety-nine means it's done. Everything else, it's not close. <laughs> 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 want to give a, even an arbitrary, arbitrary number on that. That is. Uh, that's awesome. Quick question for you, Jar Jar. All right, so um, prioritize the known bugs. So what are the bugs that are on your priority list that you folks are working on right now? There's quite a few. <laughs> there, there's a big <laughs> list in the ask, bug tracker. If um, we don't ask this, we are going to be lynched and um, not a fan of being lynched. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get real early eighteen hundreds up in here if uh, <laughs> if if we don't get I, bugs fixed. Oh, but there's a plenty that we have been fixing. Uh, this patch that will be coming out, I wish I had written it down because there's a whole page worth of bug fixes. Some of them that we grabbed from SWG source, some that we fix now. Uh, so there's a lot of them coming with the next patch. Probably not the ones you're hoping are coming, but a lot are coming. Gotcha. Well. I'll tell you what I'll do, guys. I, I'll talk to, to Jar Jar after the fact, uh, and he'll, I'll get a list from him, and I'll put him in the show notes when I put this on my YouTube channel. It'll probably come out, I like to say Friday. Sometimes I say Saturday, but it turns out it will be out at some point. So, yeah. Um, or just bug Jar Jar. So, uh, one of the things... People and they're and they're saying it in the chat right now because like this is the number one thing I hear about. It's it's posted about on Reddit. It's posted about on my videos. I'm sure it's on Weird's videos. Is people uh, really want that chat server working? Um, how's the progress on the chat server? I notice it works sometimes. It works sometimes. Uh, that's not really my department or something I have that much knowledge on, mm -hmm. but. I think we're pretty close to that. I think there's something that's been worked on for getting us the last couple of steps on it. So wish I had a better answer, but we are still working on it. Gotcha. That, that is so weird how sometimes it works and then sometimes it doesn't. I mean, if it works, it works. Is it something that's environmental that's triggering it to go backwards? Fixing something else that causes a, a bug with that? So the chat server is totally self-contained in its own box. It really has nothing to do with anything else in the game except when it's talking to the game. Mm. Hmm. The issue is just stability of the chat server. 
Gotcha. And As I, I understand it, at least. And there was a big thing on on Legends when it came out, and so it's not exclusive to to, to R three, right? And so it seems to be but. like a source project problem. Like when people use the source code uh, for SWG, um, Legends went six months without working uh, group chat or tells or anything like that. So uh, right now, Resto is three months old, if I'm correct. Right around there. Yep. Yeah. So we're three months with, without it. For most part, it works sometimes, uh, mostly after a server restart. So that's pretty good. Um, so Gospel hasn't slept in three months, guys. And neither has uh, has Jar Jar. Or a year. <laughs> yeah. A year. Oh, I get my weekly nap. The weekly yeah. nap. There you go. If you ever watch the Fight Club, my friend, or Fight Club, you go crazy like that. Um, really, really, Malero? Real Wreck-It, Bill Wreck-It Merlot. We'll just call you Merlot. Um, he wants us to ask you if there is uh, any bi-weekly updates and anything that... Uh, uh, that's actually the wrong, wrong one. I didn't want to read that one. <laughs> okay. I, I, it's okay. I was going to actually ask it because I... Uh, I One of the, the biggest... One of the bigger complaints I've seen from the community is mm -hmm. they want to hear from y'all more about what y'all are working on. Um, and I think that would go like a really long way with a lot of people. Because right now, uh, some people are, and I know this is not true, and I am not, I am not accusing you guys at all, but I know that some people actually believe that you guys are not working on anything at all. And, uh, and that's a huge, huge mistake on their part because I, I've seen this project, you know, not everyone has been around as long as I have. And there are people that have been around even longer than me in terms of restoration and seeing where it started uh, when I came from, like when I joined the alpha and how far it's come. So I know stuff is being worked on, it, you know, it, it always is being worked on, but uh, the bi-weekly communication thing, the, the, the players, there are a lot of players that would really like to see that maybe like an official thing every once a week or once every two weeks or something, just to say, Hey, this is what we're working on. Do you think that would be possible or? It's something we keep meaning to do and then just don't do. <laughs> we're all pretty, um, we all get really tunnel visiony when we're working on stuff and it's hard to drag us out of fixing the puzzle that we're trying to fix to write a paragraph about the puzzle we're trying to fix. But yeah, yeah. it's definitely something we could do better on and we should try to get that out. We, we did the first weekly one like two months ago and we never did it again. <laughs> yeah. Guys, just so, just so you're aware, um, they do briefly respond to, to Gospel and I for the show. So we ask, hey, what's going on? What are we working on? We put together something and we do let let you all know each week. However, um, if I get that answer, I'll be straight with you. Gospel's more knowledgeable about this stuff than than I am. So when I get an answer, it's uh, a lot of it's jumbled stuff to me, uh, and I don't know how to describe it properly. So yeah, if I, I tell you what. You need to hire a community relations uh, somebody or not hire. Bring a community relations someone in to, to at least put some, put a column list or bubble list out and you know put it on the on the website and yada yada like that. So, or just listen to us and maybe we'll try to figure out and make it <laughs> as easily tolerable as as possible. So, so it's like, hey, Sky, what are you working on? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there was some guy killing legacy mobs AFK, so. I'm doing something about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that could be the way it goes. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, actually, Sky, if I send him a message, dude's sending me, like, 15 to 20 back. I wish Sky holy, sent me 15 to 20 messages. Yeah, he's a talkative guy. Yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, there is one good question in here. I, I just had it and I scrolled, uh, scrolled. Only one. Here. Okay. And, well, <laughs> there's lots, but six hour two twenty nine R, uh, recent follower. So we got to read this question. Is there any plan on creating a known issues list so we are not repeating entries in the bug report? 
Mm. There's no current plans to do that, but it is something we may at some point do if that makes sense. Yeah, that would actually not be a bad idea. Just don't uh, don't display the ones that like let people uh, you know exploit anything that might be found. Because uh, the problem with doing something like that is you got to maintain it. You got to you know curate the bug reports, figure out which ones you want to post, and then post them. And that's more hours in the day that we don't have right now. Yeah, I noticed. What you guys should do is just is just get a hold uh, of gospel. Gospel is pro not you. Guys. I'm talking all over all the fans who are, who are in the, the chat right now. Gospel is prolific at uh, at gaming. He will get to the bottom of it. If you guys have something you want to bang him down. Wait, if you want to bang <laughs> down gospel's door, bang down gospel's door. And uh, and <laughs> Jeez, I just read a terrible comment. And gospel <laughs> will chase. It'll chase the devs down one way or the other. And, uh, and yes, where is my hair? That's a, that's a, a good question. <laughs> that, uh, this is nearing 40 hair right here. Oh, <laughs> man. A uh, uh, quick shout out to the people who followed recently is uh, Recursive Thinking. Thank you for the follow. And DOS PVP. I appreciate it. <laughs> this guy's want me to... They're wanting you to put your pube hair on my head <laughs> no 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 not not pube hair it's 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 just the the hair that i that i got rid of could make oh. some donations oh, you know what like i have something called graves disease and so like my thyroid doesn't work and so the things that i have to do to make my thyroid work properly uh it makes my hair disappear so i've looked into um I've looked into getting hair plugs. You know what plugs are? Get hair plugs? It's like it's like a cybernetic implant for your head. <laughs> is booty hair. Oh, is it really? They take booty hair off your booty and they put it up here, man. No fucking way. That's bullshit. No, that's 100%. So when you see like LeBron James at the beginning of every season, he comes back and all of a sudden he has like miracle, like his hair is back. That's his butt hair. <laughs> oh my god, he's like an ass head. Now you guys know he is literally a butt head. Oh you know, my god. That oh. dude must have crazy stress because by the end of the year, <laughs> stuff's gone again. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Came here for oh. SMEG3 and we're talking about hair plugs that I missed something. Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome uh, to the stream. We were talking about Weird. some off topic things. Um, what is being done about population decline? So let me, if, if it's cool, I'll, I'll answer that. So SWG has, and this is pretty much all the emulators, they have fluctuating population. So right now, I'm not actively playing like a ton and my guildies are in chat and they'll fucking tell you because they tell me about it every fucking day. Um, but the population jumps back when there's actual content to do. So you'll notice this happens with SWG very, very regularly, right? So like SWG Emu, SWG Emu would dip in numbers. They would dip down to like 600, 700. Jedi came out. They dipped. Up, they went up to like 1400, and all this other stuff. <clears throat> so that's kind of the nature of emulators. And when uh, when Resto releases more content, I'm sure that the population will jump up. Um, you know, Weird makes videos about it. I make videos about it. We'll make videos telling everyone, hey, more content on Resto three to do. And, uh, you know, Jedi release, Mustafar, which is a Dathomir, and whatever else comes in that patch. I'm sure that'll be really cool. Um, we need content communication from the devs. Yeah, that's why, well, that's partially what the purpose of this stream is, is to help the devs communicate with the, the players to some degree, right? Because, like, we have to, um, I mean, I, I know a lot of people want uh, uh, that stuff. Low population makes progression a chore. What do you, uh, Jar Jar? That's that's one thing I actually thought about. Is there a well? I know it's it's not your project necessarily, but do you know 
if uh, the progression is like fluid based on how many active players there are? Not specifically, but we can tweak it on the fly based on how many people are working towards progression. Okay, so you guys can you guys can manually do it instead of it just so so like if if population were to increase like for example like a lot I, I think a lot of people are waiting for Jedi like a shit ton of people are waiting for Jedi actually I'm I think potentially Jedi will make the server explode more than um, more than launch did <laughs> uh, but uh, you know if that that's good that you guys can like set it whenever it's it's there. <clears throat> okay, just have one person doing progression so we can unlock everything. You're going to need a really motivated individual to do that. Hey, when new content gets released, don't forget to hit up Pete's personal protection for server best weapons, armor, and RE suits. SEAs, that we that includes you too, Gospel Troll. Plug our shop. Done, dude. Done. Oh, oh we're going to pl plug in-game stuff? All right. I want to shout out my boy Lokaipa. This is from Real Key. Well, this is from Merlot, the ERP senator for R3 and and best droid uh, engineer. Um, while we're while we're plugging things, um, uh, gotta do a little bit of house cleaning there. Oh, uh, Jarja, you want to turn your ears off just for like thirty five seconds here? Uh, if you guys like Sandbox, MMOs, Albion Online, the first true cross-platform MMO. It offers intense PvP, territory claims, online PvE experiences, Albion Online. Play for free at albiononline.com. Albion Online. Tell your story. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> welcome, welcome back, back. <laughs> or welcome front if you're new. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, we love it. We love all games. We're all gamers here. Yeah. Least, so. Wait, there's other games? No. Yeah, you don't have time to play them, though. So. That's true. There are no other... See, guys, Jar Jar doesn't even know there are other games. That's how much he's been working on Resto. He's not aware what a video game is. He just knows that there's this thing called Star Wars Galaxies that uh, has interactivity between the player, b between the person and the computer. He, he, it's like an interactive movie. That's what Jar Jar keeps telling me. And it's and it's also true. Yeah, it's also true. Yeah, Star Wars Galaxies is real life in, in game. Speaking of uh, in game, um, you are working on the, okay, first of all, somebody could tell me how the heck to say this. Is it stick? S stick. The, the, the ship. Stick two. I think it's Skick. Skick? Who the hell? Yeah, the that? variant two of the heavy sick. I'm gonna be adding in because it is a crime that that version of the ship never had a heavy variation on live. Okay, so this this is something that's coming ninety nine. Same patch. I'm sorry. Yeah, same patch. Okay, so same patch. This upcoming patch, or are we talking uh, the big, big, big boy patch? This next patch with Witches of Bathmir and all the other stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, guys, get excited. All of you you shipwrights, all of you uh, ship steerers, we'll call them. Get, it, get excited for that. Craftable Heavy JSF, what's that? A Jedi Starfighter? With more mass, I think. Okay. Sounds like cancer. <laughs> Sounds like cancer. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, uh, what's her face? The redheaded uh, comedy chick has cancer now. So it's time to make more cancer jokes. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, Guys, I've got cancer. <laughs> Is that why you're balding? <laughs> no. Oh, no, okay. But I, uh, I, 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 I take radion. So, anyways. Oh, okay. Cancer confirmed. Cancer um, confirmed. Yeah. What else we got? Give us something. Okay. Here, here we go. Jar Jar, give us something right now. Just give us anything. Give us something that nobody knows. Take your time. You don't have to be at this very moment. Give us something to get everybody excited about. Uh that is either in the works whether it's 
a thought or something that you know will come five years, two years down the line? Give us something. You know that you know the act. Please do not give us something two to five years down the line. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, as of today, I figured out how to make Jedi robes customizable. The colors. Oh. So we're going to get colored Jedi robes. Colorable by the legend. player. I, I reject it. It's not Legends. Wait, what? Does it's Legends legend. have colorable Jedi robes? No, I'm saying it's not Legend. Can't make it. It's not real Star Wars if you customize it. Oh, is that their reason for not making colorable Jedi robes? I don't know. I'm just oh. sticking around because we don't know what legend is in Star Wars anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not lore friendly is what you're saying. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. I thought you were talking about the server legends. I was like, what the fuck what are they yeah. doing over there? <laughs> Wearable All right. by no one. Sick. Okay, Jar Jar. That was too my... easy, Jar Jar. You're going to have to give us something else out that you've actually been working on for a little bit or have been talking about in the room. Give us you know, something meaty, God. dude. Yeah, Halo told me um, about six, seven months ago that there is going to be future expansions. We're talking, so maybe, oh, maybe give us we're a talking little that far in the future. Oh, yeah, jeez. Uh, yeah. Eventually, not once five years. we're uh, <laughs> you know further along in the progression, have used far heroics, all that stuff out, we're going to be working on adding uh, an expansion planet, which is going to be Onderon. Hmm. That's right. I remember him, to him talking about Onderon. Now that's the uh, that's the planet that uh, the Twilight chick dies in, correct? In Order sixty six. No. That's Felucia. All right. You're thinking of Felucia. Onderon is a. Uh, I don't know shit about Onderon, but I know Onderon. But I know that was Felucia she died on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I was gonna ask uh, Jar Jar what. Feature are, is the team working on, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be your project that you're most looking forward to right now. Uh, well, I am looking forward to all the AFKers getting killed. That's that's, that's <laughs> always something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so, like actual feature, not like a... Not, not, I mean, that is a... I guess that's a feature. But like actual feature, something that you don't already do. I don't really know. The things I'm most excited about are the things that give me less headaches, and the AFK thing is something to be excited about for me. Okay, all right then. Cool. So you really are in the background there, being all ghosty, just watching people. You're just like, no MF room, no. <laughs> you know, you're, you're pining. I'm pining not actively, but I, I do get quite a few PMs every day saying, hey, mm -hmm. this legacy quest is being blocked off. And then I'm like, ah, okay, now you die. Here's a I good question. This. No, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Go ahead. Let, I've got a fix for this. Slut shame. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to do it. However, we would love to do it. Use your ghost powers. Take screenshots of said sluts. And uh, and and Gospel and I will will go put them on the wall of shame each week. We'll blast them. I'm, you think I'm joking? That's this is a real thing. It might just encourage people to do it more though. Yeah, I'm not sure about all that one. Um, but Kazu Prime did have a good question. It says question on the general state of melee versus ranged. There is a vast difference between the gameplay. As is right now, there isn't really a benefit to playing melee. Usually in games, there is a trade-off. Is there anything in the works or ideas being talked about? Honestly, I think that anyone who thinks that there isn't a benefit to playing melee has not played melee. <laughs> it is much better for PvE than ranged is. You have armor break, which is the best offensive debuff, and you have center of being, which is the best defensive buff in the game. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think the whole melee range thing at this point is a lot of people repeating other people instead of trying it for themselves. Hmm. Hmm. I, uh, I, I agree in that PVE melee is definitely superior. Um, it just feels like in PVP melee just gets shredded uh, in group PVP. Uh, that's because you're missing the 
rock and rock, paper, scissors right now. You mean Jedi? Melee and CU is there to keep Jedi from killing the range players. Hmm. We'll see. I have I, I actually uh I have my doubts about Jedi being good against range. I, I, that's how good range I think is, but we'll see when it comes out um if it needs balancing or not. Um but yeah, cuz the It's been a long time since since melee has been good against uh against ranged. Uh, not just in R3, but really in any incarnation of, of, of star wars galaxies you have to be really really good to to be proficient in in pvp as a melee character so um let's see i'm reading the comments i'm reading your comments guys some of it makes me laugh you guys are some pretty funny motherfuckers out there no offense to any actual motherfuckers I, I was offended by someone accusing me of uh, of, of taking candy. Oh, so, yeah, I don't. Oh, don't, that's this is this is me natural, man. Uh, thank you for the yeah. follow, James T. Picard. I appreciate that. Uh, here's a good question. What about fixing Commando and CH? Any uh, any updates on that? No updates beyond what's already been said. No. Okay. What it, I. I don't read the Discord all day, uh, like I used to. <laughs> what has been uh, said about them? Uh, well, Commando is not coming in the next couple patches. That's a little bit ways down the line. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one of Halo's projects, and right now he's knee-deep in Jedi. Um, CH is getting that rebalance and fix where Ham is going to be slashed considerably. Uh Doctor and combat medic heals are going to be much less effective when used on the creature, so that creature handler heals are the primary healing, and then all the points and specials are going to be fixed, so they actually work. Okay, so like the the points, are, like they're going to actually be assigned some sort of value. Yeah, that aren't like NGE stats, or they're going to be like brand new stats, or just stats that are in line with the CU. The stats are going to be the same stats, but they'll do entirely different things. Okay, so they're not going to be like block chance or any of that shit. Right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so I think a, a lot of the questions and everything are pretty much becoming redundant. So let's ask, uh, let's ask Jar Jar a, a Star Wars question. What is your favorite... What is your favorite... Jedi Council member. Yerol Poof, because his name is Poof. <laughs> what? Is he on the council? He's the one with, like, the really, really long neck and the stupid hair. Man, I'm, I, I must have missed that one. I think I know who you're talking about. I think. How do you spell his first name? I have no idea. <laughs> Ural Poof. I'm just, I'm just Google images it. Oh, he's a com, com he, he's a comedian. No, no, he's not. He just looks. Oh God, he looks horrible. He Ural looks ridiculous, and he has a silly name. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not as bad as like um as testicle forehead Kia D Mundi though. Like, uh, <laughs> we do have a good question here, though, from uh, from Cardell. Uh, Jar Jar, where do you expect people to farm junk loot if they anti AFK all caves, POA static spawns? How are our ears supposed to get the hundreds of stacks of junk loot required to make 35s that are already hard as hell to make on Resto anyway? Well, I mean, you can do it at the keyboard, but. There, there will be places that aren't blocked off from AFK, just not places where new players get discouraged from playing the game because they can't get through. So the anti-AFK system is strictly about keeping people from griefing quests. Is that correct? That's where I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Not strictly, but that'll be the main places where it'll be in place. So there will be places to AFK. Yes. Okay. All right. I think that's I think that's pretty reasonable 
Considering, like, that's already a rule on, like, Legends, right? You you can't AFK, like, quest mobs and stuff. So I, I that makes a lot more sense that you can still find things to AFK. Yeah, but you this have won't to be... have a, a, a join group macro on. Otherwise, uh, you, you, get, you get the Sarlacc hammer. Oh, that. that's you true, get the yeah. Nice little, the nice little port. Yeah. Now... And remember, this is something to keep in mind, and this is just me talking here. Um, Star Wars Galaxies is, again, it's, I always preach this, it's not a race to the finish. So if you want to just sit there by the keyboard as much as you can, you know, sit by the keyboard and, and go kill and farm some, farm some loot. It doesn't have to be tomorrow or the next day to get a piece of your 35s or something. It could be, you know, two, three months. It's not ideal. It's not fun for, for a lot of us. Um, However, this is a long a longevity game. A sandbox MMO is is made to last. It's not made to to run to the future and be the best. So, yeah, it's um, it's definitely a, a grind. My my biggest concern really with the with a, with like the thirty five system is like reasonable prices. That's all I really care about. Otherwise, I'm just like you know. It's like not the biggest of deals. Um, if you can or can't AFK something, it just matters about like how effective it is to get those items at the keyboard and then, you know, how reasonable it is, right? If armor decay was like not uh, a thing, like it is in Legends, I'd be like, yeah, fuck AFKing completely uh, because that, that shit lasts forever uh, on Legends. So, uh, yeah. Once again, uh, Star Wars Galaxies is about the community. You know, go make your credits elsewhere if you don't like to do that. Go buy them from a guild member or something. And of, of course, it's not that simple. You know what I mean? But that's the way it was at the beginning of the game in 2003. And uh, and this is a brand new, uh, still a brand new server, and that's the way it, it currently is. We're just better at the game now because we've had so many years of doing it. And so, wow, people really do not like the anti AFK thing. Um, Scott Live asks, "What is the plan to make killing slash farming high end mobs worth the time?" I think that is a, that is a pretty good question. Uh, what do you mean? So right now, um, crates are pretty easily farmed, um, and pretty much the only thing worth getting off them is the uh, is the crate scales. Tissue really doesn't matter. It, it it it's not enough to be worth it. I don't think I've seen a twish, tissue over twenty damage. I don't think I've even seen a tissue at twenty damage, and they drop so rarely. It's like it's really not worth it, right? So. The, the question is, like, what is going to be done to, you know, a lot of people like to upgrade their weapons and stuff. What is going to be done to make those high-end mobs more worth killing than just getting crate scales? Okay, I got gotcha. you. So, um, we are planning to add a lot more crafting components to the game. So there's more, there'll be more choices than just Gorax or Krat. Krat maybe and, uh, may get boosted so that it's more usable along with that, but that would happen after people can no longer AFK them. Um, then there'll be Night Sister components, Rancor components, all sorts of other components you can farm with a group at the keyboard and use to make better weapons. Okay, that's a good answer. I like that because a lot of people, that's, that's a big one for a lot of people. It's a big one for me. That's why, like, you know, in SWG EMU, one of the appeals is, and then why I think it keeps part of its population, even though it's all AFK, um, is that it's, it's like constantly, like, there's always something to upgrade your character out there, right? Like, there's always that, I mean, for most players at the moment, it's like that less than 1% of 1% of 1% chance to even get that item, but there's something to upgrade your characters, and I think people really like the treadmill of, like, killing crates and getting, you know, high-end tissues or uh, gear or whatever to to really make shit last or whatever. So uh, that is a good answer. Um, I think people, people will be pleased with uh, something like that. Let's see. Um, 
crates drop scales. Then we don't want to get the K junk loot. Uh, no one buying any goods. 2003, crates of thermal detonates and shard naps nests, rinse, repeat. Kaz and Jarder, it's not canon to have a profession restricted to one weapon type. Obviously proven by Boba as a BH with his Gadrifri baton and about 1,000 other examples. I just don't understand why place restrictions like that when it worked perfectly pre-CU. I think, I think one theme to, to remember is it just we are all going at the same pace. And so... If one person has has something and they're spending all of their their time doing it, like then they're going to be better. But it, we don't all have to have the best goods at the best time or at the first ones to get it. That's like the typical MMOs of today, the non non sandbox race to the ends, uh, that type of that type of a thing. Yeah, it's great to to feel accomplished and knock that off your your checklist and stuff. But we're all going at the same pace, and even wh whether that be with anti AFK or or not, just keep that in mind. Yeah, um, Kaz's Prime was talk. Kazu Prime was talking about uh, locking into ranged and versus melee and not having viable hybrid builds, and I kind of understand that. That was kind of the way the CU was, though. Um, I'm not against it, but I don't know. Do you guys have any plans, Jar Jar, to maybe make it viable so people can, like, weapon switch uh, from melee to range and still, like, be viable in combat and stuff? Or, um... I mean, SOE designed the CU for it to be viable to weapon switch and hybrid melee and range. It was min-maxers who ruined that. They didn't think people would build the kind of templates that they built, and that kind of created the meta where you can't hybridize melee and range. Um, I'm honestly not sure what could be done besides converting the whole game to NGE to make hybridizing melee and range something that's endgame viable in the way that a lot of people want it to be. I mastered rifleman, now I'm going to use a sword. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, I understand. That's that's kind of a that's kind of like a bigger issue to uh, um, to tackle. That that's really hard. Caps would make hybrids feasible. I'm not exactly sure about that since you get more abilities like range and you know melee. Like you just if you stay melee, you get more melee abilities to use. Like going TK by itself really sucks. Like, because your damage is nothing. But if you mix TK with Swordsman, it's, like, insane. Right? So... Yeah, I mean, the closest thing to a viable melee range hybrid right now is Terakasi Smuggler. And that suffers from lack of attacks. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that one is though. hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely fun. Yeah. How much time do you have? Uh, we're at a we're at an hour so far, Jar Jar. We've taken up a lot of your time. Um, can you go another 10, 10 minutes with us? Yeah, I can probably do another 10 minutes. Okay. So, uh, gentlemen, keep coming with with your questions. We're going to try to to wind it down. I feel like we've we've barraged uh, Jar Jar and he was expecting us to to throw these questions and everything. But uh but let's let's wait for some some good ones. We always do a top 5 uh on the way out. We'll go ahead and do this. Um so we'll kind of be looking at the questions that have not been asked. In the meantime, we're going to do... Do you want to do this, uh, the Gospel, or do you want to just stick to the questions? Until I like I, I like sticking to the questions. I feel like the okay. this has been the first stream in a while we've done with a dev, and uh -huh. a lot of the community really wants communication as much as possible. Uh, okay. like, this is this is the number one thing I hear like from people, is like they really want dev communication. And uh, one thing I did want to ask uh, Jar Jar, and I haven't asked it, whoops, that's my bad. Um, I haven't asked it before, is uh, how are the new developers? I noticed there was uh, one guy you guys got on, and then I think there was a second as well. Um, how's that going? How's the quest, for, uh, like, are you guys still looking for more devs? Or uh, how's the current devs? Like, what's what's going on there, I guess? I'm currently interviewing one more, and then I think we're probably closing down recruiting. The two we've gotten recently have been working out really well. Archik, who was uh, formerly with Legends, he's been a big help getting us the progression stuff. 
mm-hmm. working on that. And then the other new guy, we still we're still getting him up to speed, but looks like he'll be able to contribute quite a bit soon too. Okay, that's good because you know, like a lot of people, like they want they want resto. People love the server, which is why I think some of these comments in the uh, chat seem a little frustrated. Um, but uh, yeah, Zach Crow asking a question: Was there a mention of making doc buffs more viable? What do you mean by more viable? Because um, they're pretty 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 good right now. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, let them do Jedi right rather than rush once it's unlocked, can't go back, true. Three months, no Jedi, why? Also, why no Jedi? Uh, I don't know. Order 66 happened. Order 66 happened, (laughs) that's true, we are post Order 66. Listen, there's only like a few Jedi, like Ahsoka Tano and like Luke Skywalker, and uh, I'm not sure if Ben Kenobi's dead yet in this version of Star Wars. Yes. Okay, so no Ben Kenobi. He's a Force ghost. Oh, that's right. That's right, because we got a Mustafar, right? And he's a Force ghost there. Duh. So he's dead. And then uh, and then Darth Vader. Um, My wife and I were hanging out in Ben Kenobi's uh, abandoned house. So he's definitely not there. And if he was, then he was watching. <laughs> At Jar Jar at Gospel tapes that can add duration TK doc buffs, two doc buffs. Uh, do you guys plan on adding something that will increase the duration of doc buffs? Well, Halo has said that he wants to add a heroic set that does that. Okay. Uh, but beyond that, doc buffs being short are kind of kind of part of the design of how doctors are supposed to be in this era because i've said it before in a different interview in the cu doctors weren't meant to sit afk in a medical center handing out buffs they were meant to be brought along with the party and do content with the party you go up to the kabooza beetle cave and you get your doc buffs outside the entrance and then you go in and fight with the doctor next to you doing heals that's the shorter buff duration lends itself to a more of a combat role for doctors rather than a bot role. Yeah. <laughs> Cardell, dude. You crack me up. God, why the fuck is this guy so obsessed with AFK people? Because AFK is... I'll, I'll, I'll answer that one, dude. Uh, AFK is... is it's just it's, fucking it's lame. Yeah, it's fucking it's lame. Horseshit. I would rather have a game that you actually have to play than a game you have to AFK. I always thought it was the just the fucking worst shit in the world to have to AFK the Ackley on SWG Emu or AFK anything. I fucking hate it when there's AFK. Why can't people just play the game? That's that's my question. Why not just design a game or make changes to a game that encourages at the keyboard play and isn't like ridiculously grindy, right? Like why can't yeah, we just it's It's poor game design to encourage people not to play the game. And beyond that, even, if you've got a population of a thousand people and 90% of them are AFK, that's going to feel a lot more empty than a population of 200 people who are actively playing. Exactly. It's, it's, it's just so shitty. Um, Gossip Boss will first tribute stats that increase the resource pools. Would you consider referencing the base pool for abilities so that the stats that increase the pool value are not drawn from proportionately? I think you're talking about it's either mind or action where you increase those stats and then like using an ability takes from the max anyways. So is he talking about weapon augments? Yeah, think, that's about them right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he is talking about weapon weapon augments. Yeah. So it's ba- and increasing the max actually slows doesn't actually increase the regeneration. So that's something it slows that's the with- regen because you use more at a time. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware of it. Um, we're still figuring out exactly how we're going to handle that. Whether it's just take from the pre buff max or throw something else in there. I don't. I don't know. It's not really my call, so I can't say how we'll handle it. But it is something we're aware of. Yeah. 
Um, at Gospel Gospel, if you want to encourage people to play the game, make 35s easier to obtain slash replace. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the 35s system. Um, do you think there's a chance uh, you guys change that? I mean, there's a chance, but I'm not going to say yes or no either way because that's kind of a debate I'm having behind the scenes still, too. Okay. Well, so, let's, so let's give our opinion right here. It seems like this is a big issue. You know, so uh, let me help. Let me help the debate behind the scenes. Order sixty six in your words, like uh, like kill the crap out of that. Kill the crap out of that. Although everybody else will complain about all the time that they that they ground trying to get the <laughs> trying to get their thirty five suits. Um, hey, I've heard a little bit, and somebody referenced this in, in the chat talking about Tansari Point Tansari Point ta Station. So there's a lot, there's some smoke that I've been hearing there and they're going to replace the Aurelia village. Will the heroic vendors follow? So is there anything new coming to Tansuri point station in the game? I, uh, yeah, what you've heard is pretty much it since we nuked Aurelia and needed somewhere else to act as the heroic hub with all the stuff there. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, Tansuri station is getting repurposed into that. So it's just going to be. Uh -huh. Is there anything else that's going to be in there that makes us bring it in? Maybe. <laughs> uh, the top floor I cleared out all the decorations from, so now it's this big dueling ring. So there might be events happening there at some point. Uh, nothing else really set in stone. It's going to be the Heroic Hub. It's going to be there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is something I actually have uh, talked about with Sky because he wants to do it, but I don't know uh, how much of it is possible or if you all have explored uh, the idea of it being possible. Is capital ships possibly with boarding in JTL? That's um, honestly kind of a pipe dream. Kind of a pipe dream. Okay, so probably not going to happen. Ten years down the line, maybe. We put some effort into figuring it out, but that that's a hard nut to crack, and uh, it'd be more likely that another project does it first, and then we borrow it. Oh, uh, okay. So about the same time Jedi comes out? That's a joke. Because <laughs> I know, uh, yeah... All right, guys. This is getting this is getting long. The questions, unfortunately, are, are just real, starting to get super dry, and it's getting harder and harder for for Jar Jar to answer. We're at a answer. Is that a minute? A minute? An hour and ten minutes. So, we got to shut it down. Although this is actually a good follow up question. You want to ask ask that one, Gospel from Shadow Ordo? Yeah. Uh, will there be an option in Test Center to test functionality of various Jedi template specs to see what is working or broken? Last time I was on the Test Center, it was just a generic Master Defender, Master Saber cookie cutter build, and you could not select the other specs or specific skill boxes. Uh, maybe. Not anytime soon. Uh, not really a priority to test the different Jedi specs right now. Gotcha. Just working on the Jedi unlock system, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. All right. Is that uh, anything else you got weird? Well, once again, I got to say thank you all for, for watching. Thank you all for streaming. If you like R3, you may like Albion Online. Albion Online, play for free at albiononline.com. Tell your story. And uh, Scott Live, in the words of Anchorman, Ron Burgundy, go fuck yourself. <laughs> wow. All right. No, don't fuck yourself. <laughs> Masturbation's no, not no, good. Sorry, yeah, well, that's, that's not <laughs> Do Twitch, a dopamine uh, fast. <laughs> no, it's, 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 oh. it's Twitch acceptable. It's just, it's just not the Christian thing to do. <laughs> we, don't have a, we don't have a hot tub. I'm just, I'm just kidding, homie. Uh... So. <laughs> exclamation remind me in 10 years when any progress is made all right dude we get it we understand all right we'll catch y'all later in a weird way talk to you peace uh, later guys